So if a dog is uh, is pulling you down the street, or if you know someone that their dog is is pulling their their handler down the street, and it looks like they're walking downhill when they're not, essentially the dog is taking the person out for a walk. Because if you're behind, you're out of sight, out of mind. So you want to be able to reestablish that relationship and make sure that you get the dog in a follower state of mind that you become the driver of that of that walk. So again. Maybe maybe not going longer distances with minimal responsiveness and maybe going short distance with maximum responsiveness. Uh, an example, the front of your house, walking back and forth, doing unpredictable walks. So that's why when we're walking with the dogs, I go ahead and, uh, and I do some stops just to make sure that those are little health checks to make sure that I'm still driving this car, that they're still paying attention to me and not focused on these other triggers. Mm -hmm.